As I mentioned before, you need to create all of your hosted MEP families as a face-based component. You will see that Revit has several different hosting methods in the family templates, such as wall-based, ceiling-based, etc. Well, the families that are hosted to a building component, such as a wall or ceiling, won't work if you're hosting to a linked model. This seems silly, doesn't it, since 100% of the time, you'll be hosting your devices to a linked architectural model. So, the objective of this video is to create an architectural test model that we can use again and again and again, so that we can properly test our devices to a linked model. So let's jump into Revit. Under Projects, let's click on New. The template file, let's hit the drop down, and I'm going to grab an architectural template. I'm going to click OK. Now, on the Architecture tab, let's click the Wall button. For the height, let's select Level 2. And I'm just going to draw a few random walls. So I'm going to draw a wall here, about 32 feet out. I'm going to come up at a 45 degree angle because I like to test my components at different angles as well. Maybe I'll draw it out 24 feet from there. I'll come down about 48 feet. Then I'll come back until it's in alignment with the first wall I picked. And I'm going to come up and I'm just going to close it in. Nothing special. Let's hit escape a couple times. Now I'm going to draw another wall straight down from here. So I'm going to select this wall. Create similar. Now I'm going to pick a point like right about here. I'm going to come down to about here. I'm going to hit escape. Maybe I'll draw one more wall. I'll come down about eight feet here and draw it straight over. Now I'm going to hit escape. Now what I'd like to do is go to ceiling plan level one. I'm going to put a couple ceilings in. So on the architecture tab, I'm going to click on the ceiling button. I'm going to go into this room. I'm going to pick a ceiling. I'm going to pick a spot. Then I'm going to pick another spot there. I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to go back down the level one floor plan. I'm going to click the door button. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to put a door here. I'm going to hit my space bar to flip it to the wall. Put one right about there. Maybe put one right about here. I suppose I'll put one right about here. I'm going to hit escape a few times. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some rooms in. So on my architecture tab, I'm going to come down and click the room button. I'm going to put one here, here, and here. With all my caps turned on, I'll call this closet. And the room number will be 101. This one I'll call this conference. And this one will also be 101. Elements have duplicate number values, which is fine. And I'm going to call this one conference 102. Hit enter. This is really all we need for our test model. So I'm going to save it, and I'm going to put it somewhere that makes sense to me. I'm going to call arc-test. I'm going to click on my options. I want to make sure I only have one backup. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to click on Save. We're going to use this quite a bit. 